Good morning, Grand Rising, wherever you are. Blessings to each of you as we move through the year slowly and uh, gathering together and knowing that within each other's heart, we hold each other in, in grace and ease. And those are words that uh, we come to know more and more every day. But two words today that uh, came to me as I as I awoke were um, the words, um, whatever the title is. <laughs> okay, brain, let's turn turn the knob here. Uh, <laughs> manifest and magnify. It's interesting how <clears throat> easily the mind can. Uh, get confused and when we look up the confusion of our minds this is not my talk but uh, the confusion in our minds there's a, a, an abundance of definitions of why the reality for me now at this point is it doesn't matter what we're learning right now is how to manifest and magnify whatever it is that is coming and that's the message for the future, is how do we magnify and manifest the positive energies that are needed for us to unfold the future paradigm. So good morning, Joe. Good morning, Patricia. The, the thought this morning as I was listening to my higher self brought in this whole uh, dictation I, and this is the first time i've dictated what's coming through and then i had to clean it up because it's um it, when it's when it comes through it's almost like gibberish it's not what you would call uh literally acceptable <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for Grammarly. <laughs> and thank you for laughter. This is what I have to realize that each one of us, as we move through this manifestation and magnification, is that uh, each one of us need to adapt a new sense of humor in which uh, we can look at things that may have been difficult or appear to be difficult and realize that how silly we are. There isn't anything we really can't do if we collaborate within ourselves, if we bring all our mind and selves together to overcome it, because we are amazing, powerful beings. And that's what's been taken away from us is the knowledge and wisdom and ability to trust ourselves to trust ourselves that we have the power, that we have the ability. We're not stupid. We're not codependent on a, uh, a structured system that is mostly interested in buying and selling and ruling and, uh, and destroying. And that's what we're living in. We're living in this um, period of time for humanity where we have to come back into our sovereignty. And you hear me talk about sovereignty a lot. So, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Diana. So part of the shift for me was to, uh, because my sleep pattern has changed, was to do this call at 10.30 instead of 10. So I didn't have to rush. I could relax and and slowly receive the information. And even today, I was at the last minutes and I was trying to clean up in Grammarly what was coming through. So I'm here to share with you that as those words, um, manifestation and um, magnification caught my attention, they, they really made me think about how uh, all of us are on a soul mission. Soul, 
you know, the inside part of us. There's many definitions of it. I like to use the one source of unconditional love. But then somebody said to me, it could be the source of unconditional light. It could be the source of unconditional, whatever you want to start with an L. These are word games we can play with ourselves. When we want to define, redefine for ourselves what we need to focus on to move into the future. And part of the moving into the future, future is not just about us. My future is a limited uh, time wise. But we have children that are coming into the world now who hopefully lifetime will be longer. And if we don't start seeding the world with information that is going to allow them to tap into the truth of who they really are, they're going to be programmed by artificial intelligence. You know, they call it AI. Oh, isn't that cute? But what it is, is artificial intelligence. And what the capability of artificial intelligence is, is to rewrite everything. And we're going to trust it. And it's being sold to us as, oh, we can trust this. And right now, we can't even trust the leaders who speak our language to tell us the truth. How are we going to expect our future generations to trust an artificial intelligence? These are things that are happening now in the shifting of the paradigms that we're moving forward. And Mother Earth is preparing herself for the changes to come, just as she has done in the past. This is not in my show notes. This is just from writing them that has come through me. Morning, Victoria. So confusion is really what's happening for most of us. And as I look at my notes over here, you know, um, what is our soul mission? Who are we and what do we have as a soul mission? And where are we confused? So the key is, A, to establish that this confuses me. Where am I confused? What is bothering me that keeps distracting me or bring me back into fear? Because it's fear that holds us prisoner. Fear does not exist in the heart. There is no fear in the heart at all. If there was fear, the heart never would have come online. We wouldn't be here. So fear is a mechanism within ourselves to keep us alive, to help us to function in a manner that is aware of what's happening around us and noticing when it becomes dangerous or when it becomes unhealthy. This is our natural, physical, and uh, emotional body that's responding. It's not something you buy at the store. It's not something that you take as a medicine. If we listen to our hearts more closely, we won't need half of those things. If we stop trusting people who keep telling us this is new and improved, well, what was wrong with the old? Wait a minute, spinach is spinach. I don't need new, improved spinach. This, I don't need new, improved cookies and crackers. You either present it as it is, and it's healthy and good for you, or you don't produce it. Don't tell me that what you're put, putting in it comes from a, a chemistry set. I, I played it with a chemistry set at eight years old. I wanted to be a nuclear physicist. I played with all of those things. 
And I had a great wisdom at that age. The world around me made sure that I didn't get that dream come true. Now, why? Because people who are in our leadership are now thinking personally about themselves and what they can gather out to enrich themselves. And anybody that's defying that is the enemy. And I don't like those words, but that's what happens. We become the civilization of the planet becomes basically the enemy. And why are we have any enemies at all? We're all human beings. We're all human beings. It doesn't matter what color we are, what language we speak. Unity as a humanity is needed right now. And we need to look inside of our hearts and ask ourselves, how can I manifest that? And how can I not only manifest it, how can I magnify it? Our children need us to keep them connected to nature. Yes, that's absolutely right, Victoria. It's nature, it's Mother Earth that is now shifting and changing. And we're witnessing this. Now there are some people who have other theories of what's happening and uh, scientific theories. And I'm not saying they're not right, but there's also manipulations that are being done uh, there are parts of Mother Earth and things from Mother Earth that are being used as weapons. And so what happens is we create a total instability, a collective instability and confusion. How do we get rid of the confusion? How do we get rid of the instability? We come back into our hearts come back into our hearts and we start honoring Mother Earth. And it can be as simple as recycling your plastic. It can be as simple as not buying the plastic. It can be as simple as looking for organic food rather than factory manufactured food. And I use that factory manufactured because it is a factory. They'll call it what they want, but it's a building with machinery that people work on that process your food, package your food, not done by hand. It's not done by anything. And now we, you know, we're looking again at another era of childhood uh, abuse by children being um brought into uh, meat factories underage. No problem. We don't. It's not a problem. And I'm sure they're underpaid and I'm sure they're overworked. And I'm sure that they have no other choice. This is archaic. This is let me go back a thousand years. This is not needed. This is what is bothering every single one of you. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not. Because what happens is the energy that is produced by that is released into the field of our energy. And when we have millions of people suffering and crying and feeling pain and fear, that energy is in everything we do. And we're not consciously aware of it, but it's there. And we it, it absorb it into our cellular structure. I'm not a scientist, 
I'm not a doctor. People will tell me I'm crazy. But I know what's going on in my body. I sense it. I can walk into a room and I can feel the energy and so can you. And you know you can, but you keep denying it. And the longer we keep denying that all of this is happening, the longer it's going to take for us to manifest and magnify the true energetic beings that we are. And it's in that magnification of our own energy that the result becomes stability. It's how we stabilize. How we stabilize is if you're in a rocket ship going in outer space and you're going through all this turbulence, you have to stabilize. Even a plane has stabilizers, boats have stabilizers. Because that's necessary. And what we're realizing is our stability is being distorted from many different directions and levels. Awareness. Let's become aware of who and what we are capable of doing because we are far more powerful than we have ever been told. And that is what the fear of those who want to control us is. They're not afraid of their power. They're afraid of our power. Because if we counterbalance them, they're no longer special. It's that ego out of control that does that. It's not for the betterment of humanity. It's like a competition of who can be the first or, you know, races. We have a race. We'll make a race out of it to the moon, to the Mars. And we're only here about our country that's doing this. And all the countries are doing it. Any countries that have a, a, a space program are, are doing the same thing we are. But then we're filtered that information down through a system that hides information, that cuts information out so that you're not getting a full view of what's happening. What's happening is you're seeing what they want you to see. You're hearing what they want you. Who are these they? It doesn't matter who they are. What matters is that we recognize that I'm feeling something is being distorted. I'm feeling the energy of that. Let's begin to trust our energy. This is why I'm, I'm a dowser and you can use dowsing rods and you can check and you can hold the rods and you can ask the question and once you learn how to to, to let go of what your question or you think is, they'll open and close with a yes or a no, which will be aligned with you. And it's a simple thing to double check. Am I pushing dowsing on people? I, I, I would certainly encourage it for everyone because it gives you a verification. You cannot trust what you read on these machines as a verification. They are designed to and programmed to show you what somebody wants you to see and wants you to believe. And it's time we let go of that and say, okay, here's the guideline. It's given me the big picture of what's happening. Yes. Russia and Ukraine are at war. Yes, there's an earthquake. But you can only, they're only going to give you the parts of that they want you to see. And the reason they do that 
is to work on your emotional system. And when you go into pain, when you go into fear, when you go into, you know, all of those emotionals, energies in motion, and they're distorted, you're easier to manipulate. And you're not doing it consciously. Each one of you are so innocent in many ways. And I want that innocence to come back to all of us. An innocence where it's not, I'm blind to the truth. It's an innocence that says, there's a better way. There's a better way and I can make it happen. I can be that nuclear physicist. I can be that doctor. I can be that uh, whatever it is. Whatever you really want to be within your heart. Because the opportunity is not being shut down by the structure of the civilization around you. That's not civil at all. That's manipulation and it's painful. It's painful and you all know that. <sighs> I'm gonna take a little breath here. <laughs> I look at my list and oh my goodness, I, I can't read all of this. I'll post it at some point on my own page. But ease and grace are two words that come together to bring energy, ease and grace. How do we plug that into receiving the energy that we're able to manifest and magnify? The key is that when we let go and begin to trust what we're feeling, and honor that, then we are actually seeing the world from a different place. And most of our lives, we've seen the world from this place outside of us. And the key is to come back into your heart and see the world. In your heart, see where it hurts. In your heart, see what you look at and know that this is not right. Doesn't matter, everybody else told you it's okay. When I was a kid, that was, that was okay. It was okay for me to jump from roof to roof. And I did. It wasn't okay. None of it was okay. What it was, was them feeling the power of making somebody else do something that was dangerous as a point where they could feel empowered that they made somebody else do it. I'm gonna leave that with you all. I'm sure you all have your own story. And right now we have to realize that we are far more advanced as universal beings than we have been allowed to believe and trust. And that's what this whole rush for AI and all of this is about, is to dumb us down. They know we believe what's written when they send us. They know that we fall for all the stories we they know we can be brainwashed they've proved it they've studied it for years they know that they can lie through their teeth whoever they are doesn't matter who they are whatever or even why they want to do it it's the fact that we can be subjected to the power of somebody else 
when it is not in our own best interest or the best interest of Mother Earth. And when we look at the world around us and we look at destruct the destruction, they don't show it to you. Once in a while, you get a glimpse of the dumps in foreign countries where there are children running behind the tractors trying to find stuff that they maybe can sell or do something with. That's not living. That's not. And it's our responsibility now, especially those of us who are what we call elders, to awaken others to the power that they have within themselves. The destruction of Mother Earth needs to end. And harmony and balance needs to be restored. And it's not going to be restored by all of these energies that we have now. It's not going to be stored by the lies that we're told. It's not going to be destroyed by, oh, I've got more weapons than you do, so therefore I'm more powerful. And one of the biggest weapons we now have is financial. The way we are able to trade with each other and receive from each other is now a commodity. And when they made water a commodity, that was the last, that was the last trigger for me. You can make water a commodity. You can say we have ownership over all the water. That was my last straw. I ask you all to not to look at this talk as one of despair or of frustration, because right now it becomes our responsibility to manifest what's positive, to manifest what's nurturing, and to magnify it within ourselves. And it doesn't matter how you do it, or where you do it, or in what um, commodity, or what way you do. Just know that each one of you have a power within yourself that cannot be taken away from you unless you stop your heart from beating. We're going to move through this. It's just the bad storm for now. Come back to your hearts. Learn to trust yourself. Learn to let go of all of the childhood traumas, all of the abuse, all of the um, destruction that you felt, the pain, the suffering. And know that if for no other reason you want to be free of it, remember that there are other children right now who are experiencing even worse. And as we do it and clean and clear it within ourselves, we do it for them. There's less of us for them to look at and say, oh, that's like me. And I'm only six years old. Scary. Bless you all. I love you all. 
I thank you all. Crazy movie called Manufactured Lame shows how our excess has made insanity. Oh, that's, thank you. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna write that down and go see that or watch it. Because again, we're all being reminded and the gift for us right now is for us to take hold within ourselves and become the pillars of the future. And know that when we let go and we work on ourselves and clear ourselves so that we can see through the fog, we can see through the, the, the display, the colors, the, you know, it's like a video. The, we see it and we see behind that there's this little person. Again, I always go back to the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Making it all up. We know that we can change this, and that's what we're here to do. Moving through it, coming back into our hearts, trusting that higher self, dwelling in our hearts, has the power to rule and fuel our physical body, and also the power to lead and fuel all of existence. Those were my last words on my notes. Bless you all and thank you all for being here. Thank you for listening. I'm not 100%, you know, you have to see it my way. I just plant seeds. And that's what I try to encourage in everybody. We are all planting seeds for the next generation. And after the storms and after the seeds will, will blossom. That's what we're doing. We're working together for a better future for our children and our children's children, etc. We know very well what pain and suffering is, as did our ancestors, but they weren't strong enough within themselves to make a difference. There was too much separation. Right now with these machines, this is the big benefit. It connects all of us, each of you around the world watching this, listening to me. That's not power. I don't know what is. I love you. I thank you. I respect you. I am you. You are me. We are unity. One heart. One love. How long? Forever. May each of you smile, walk away today, go about your life, and say, I am reborn in myself to see the beauty and the power and the wisdom that is within myself and needs to be shared with others. Love you all. Thank you all. Thank you, Humanity Healing, for this beautiful time slot. We'll see you next Friday. And bless you all.